Yeah, so Afton, we're a smaller size district in St. Louis. We're about 2,800 students. Um, very tight-knit community. It's only five square miles, so we're a nice little pocket um, in a suburb here in St. Louis. Um, that size allows us to be innovative and push the boundaries a little bit with what we're doing with technology. Yeah, so I, I think Afton is definitely um, a district that's on the move, and specifically with finding innovation and, and creating new value in whatever the topic is. So whether it's curriculum, whether it's safety, we're always looking for how do we forge ahead in, in new and maybe different ways. So as a middle school, this is our fourth year as a one-to-one -one school with the Chromebooks. Uh, and it's kind of been an evolution over time. How do we, uh, how do we provide as much opportunity and uh, access as possible, but then also help the students learn to be good digital citizens? We have a, a decent filtering solution in place that parents can see websites, but they didn't have an insight into emails students were doing or Google Hangouts or any content in their drive. Um, so when I saw Bark, it was a perfect fit of you know, great, now we can monitor this. It has helped us in a number of occasions identify potential student conflicts before they turn into something bigger. So whether it's maybe just uh, a back and forth email that has the potential to grow into to a real conflict, uh, it's helped us avoid a number of those. Uh, there have been a couple situations, uh, even on weekends, where I've gotten a bark alert uh, of a student maybe that's sent a cry for help to another student threatening self-harm been able to reach out to parents and, and make sure that the student's safe. So it's, you know, a number of different things that have come out of it, not just helping keep our students safe, but also preventing a lot of problems. So I operate that we need to be as transparent as possible with our community on what our students are doing on these devices and accounts that we give to them. Um, so I, I've, I had always been looking for some kind of insight that parents could have, especially for those after hours communications where we may not be as active. Um, so as soon as I saw that Bark launched that, I was like, this is a perfect fit for what we want to do and the direction that we want to go. The biggest thing parents want from the school usually is around safety, the, the safety and security. And that has typically just meant the physical environment, but now in the 21st century, it means online. So are they safe when they are trying to use the internet, use their device to learn? And I think that is just that extra layer of, um, I guess, confidence that parents have is that we not only have the physical environment taken care of, but we also have the virtual uh, environment taken care of as well. I think Bark is, is a hugely valuable tool that, that we utilize. Um, you know, there's a lot of communications that students do in our district, um, both internally and externally. And having that insight that Bark provides and knowing that we have a process to monitor and ensure that the tools are being used appropriately and correctly is hugely valuable. So many of our parents have some skills in technology, but we can't keep up with the kids even. Uh, and the, you know, just as soon as we feel like we catch up, the next app comes out or the next device or, or the next way to, to connect with their friends. And so having something like Bark in place to help monitor that makes a big difference.